Morning, brothers and sisters, all my people, Ether, my non-Ether brothers and sisters. Today, I'm doing something different. I'm going to use the Bible. Um, I want to go to Psalms 82. It's a powerful chapter. And it has our instructions in it. Listen, it says, God standeth in the congregation among the the of the mighty. He judges among the God. Yeah, understand, Mother Universe is God. We are the gods under Mother Universe. We're created in the image of Mother Universe. You got to go into meditation to understand this book. All right, Psalms 82 is a passage that was taken from Thoth. This was found in Egypt. All right. He said, Mother Universe stand of, stands with the gods or us. How long will you judge the unjustly and accept or protect, in other words, the wicked? How long are we going to um let these white people do what they want to do how long are we going to protect them and protect their laws it said defend the poor and the fatherless do justice to the afflicted and the needy these are our instructions these are our instructions defend the poor and fatherless do justice to the afflicted and the needy. When are we going to protect our people? It's right here in this book. And we're not even seeing it. Our people talking about throw the book away. No, you need to go into meditation and understand the book that it was stolen from us. It said, deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Look at these caucasoids. They running around talking about taxes, laws, buy this, buy that. When are we going to deliver our people? I can't do it by myself. We need an army. It said deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Get rid of taxes. Get rid of politics. Get rid of government. Destroy all these caucasoids. It's right here. They don't know nothing. They don't understand nothing. They walk in the darkness and the foundations of the earth are out of course. Our earth is out of balance because we are allowing these caucasoid motherfuckers who don't know nothing, who don't and understand nothing to walk around and do what the fuck they want to do. And our people up here videotaping these motherfuckers beating the hell out of our people and shooting and killing our people, but we not jumping on their asses and doing justice. Because you got to understand, poor means a person who doesn't have white man's money. Needy is a person who doesn't have white man's things. Fatherless. When these Caucasoids kill the fathers, they're after the men. They kill the fatherless. Who going to defend the children of those who were destroyed by these caucasoids? I have said you are gods and all of you children of the most high. You are gods. So your job is to do all of this stuff right here. But you die like men and fall like princes because we don't walk the path of righteousness by defending our people because if we defended our people and we destroyed these caucasoids then we would live like gods immortality they're spraying stuff in the air they're 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 poisoning our people mind giving our people meat to eat when are we going to defend our people because our earth is out of balance? 
Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Rise up, my people. It's right here in this book that they stole from Egypt. These are, are, are things that was done in Egypt, that was written in Egypt. When are we going to protect our people? How long are we going to let these caucasoids run around here and do what the fuck they want to do? When are we going to rise? When are we going to create our armies? They don't know nothing. They don't understand nothing. Yet they walk around and do what the fuck they want to do. And we say, oh, yeah, well, you know, they got the power. Politics and all this other bullshit. So when are we going to go and, and fuck up Washington, D.C.? When are we going to go and fuck up all the state capitals? When are we going to go and destroy every goddamn Caucasoid on this planet? Our people need to wake the fuck up. It's right here, Psalms 82. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Like I said, paying taxes. Oh, you don't pay no taxes, you can't keep your house. You don't pay no taxes, you can't drive your car. You don't pay no taxes, you can't have no business. You feel me? That's wicked. So when are we going to drive these motherfuckers off of our planet? When are we going to send them to the mountains so they can go back to them portals and head back to the universe where they belong? That's the question that I have. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Got our people running around here, killing each other for a piece of paper with a white man face on it. When are we going to do justice about that? When are we going to destroy this dollar? When are we going to wake up and see that our duty is to protect our planet? Because it says right here, when, it, when you go into the, 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 the fifth verse, it says these Caucasoids, they know nothing. They don't understand nothing. They walk in the darkness. And the foundations of the earth are out of balance. Our people wrote this. When these Caucasoids invaded our planet. And this was later on. After they had already formed their unions and their governments. This is when they came back. So when are we going to do Psalms 82. And do justice for our people. All the people who died. You remember I said 500 years ago, these Caucasoids blasted our magnetic sun out of orbit. Just because we don't have the magnetic sun don't mean we can't create armies. Don't think of yourself to be small to this illusionary big government. It looks colossal, but it's actually tiny. It's only an illusion. Looks are deceiving. Believe me. Because all you got to do is hit it in the right place. We are the alpha. We are the omega. We are electromagnetic beings. Alpha is electricity. Omega is magnetism. This is our planet. So when are we going to do justice for our people? When are we going to stop this shit? Now they say, oh yeah, you know, you talk about the police. You know, we're going to lock you up. Fuck them motherfuckers. Fuck these goddamn Caucasoids. I'm telling you. I am Sema Alpha Dragon. I'm telling you. Get ready. Form your armies. And we're going to fuck these motherfuckers up. Mother Universe stands in the congregation of the mighty. We are the mighty. She judges among the gods. Mother Universe is judging among us. Look at nature. All these Caucasoids getting killed by lightning strikes and tornadoes. She's doing her part. When are we going to do our part and join in? Talking about we waiting on Nibiru. No, Nibiru is waiting on us. 
It's the opposite. Nibiru is waiting on us. So stop waiting on Nibiru and do what the fuck do we got to do so Nibiru can come. Mother Universe stands in the congregation of the mighty. She judges among the gods. You see her judging every day. Destroying these motherfuckers. The people in India, the Arabics, all these Caucasoids and their byproducts. It's asking us right there. How long are we going to protect the unjustly? How long are we going to stand up and protect this money, protect this politics, protect this economy? How long are we going to do this? How long are we going to accept these people of wickedness? How long are we going to do this? How long are we going to accept them? When will we realize that they don't belong here? How much longer do we have? They want to wipe our race out. Last year, 5,000 brothers and sisters were killed by Caucasus police officers. 5,000. That's more than us killing each other. How long? Depend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Sandra Bland. Look at her. Look at everybody else. And we're running around here talking about the law. Oh, we don't want to get locked up. Not, no, fuck that. Create armies and do their ass in. We don't need the motherfuckers. We will replenish our planet. These are your instructions. Psalms 82. I had to use this this morning. It's a powerful scripture. It's a powerful chapter. Our instructions are right in front of us. You don't throw this book away. You go into meditation so that you can understand the book. You have to read this book with your third eye. This is a book of war. It's a book of magic. Your instructions are right here. To be holy means to be separate, which means that you're supposed to separate yourself from these motherfuckers. I want to give up the dollar, but I can't because my people is not giving up the dollar. And then I'll be by myself. We have to do this thing uh, uh, consecutively. But first, we got to get to our minds in our minds and in our hearts that we need to destroy these motherfuckers. It's right here in this book. You go to Deuteronomy 7 chapter, our instructions. It came from Egypt after they invaded. Don't mate with them. Don't give your sons to their daughters. Don't give your daughters to their sons. Don't make agreement with them. Don't be friends with them. When you see them, kill them. Those are our instructions. All this shit came from Egypt. They stole it. And it's right here in our face. Then you go to Psalms 83 and they say, don't don't stay silent, God. Don't hold your peace. Don't be still. For your enemies make an agreement and they that hate you have lifted up their head. These came from Egypt. We've been battling with these motherfuckers for 6,000 years. Now we got to bring this shit to a fucking end. They've taken crafty counsel against the people, the, the gods, and consulted against your hidden ones. The hidden ones, those that you can't see, those who are in other dimensions, these motherfuckers, these Caucasoids, have consulted to try to find them so that they can stop giving us instructions so that these Caucasoids, they want to rule this planet. You gotta understand what we're dealing with, brothers and sisters. 
This is some serious shit. And all our war instructions is in this book called the Bible. Like I say, you got to read this shit with your third eye. If your eye be single, then your body be full of light. But if your eye be closed, then your body be full of darkness. Your third eye. If it's open, you full of light. You see everything in a spiritual sense. But if it's closed, you full of darkness. Which means that when you full of darkness, you fall in the ways of the Caucasoids. You're stuck in the matrix. This shit is real. Create armies. And let's defend our people. The strong and mighty ones. Prepare yourself for battle. Contact me when you got your armies together. We're going to do something. Sima. Posting out.